Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss our topic that what is freelancing. Uh, friend, uh, today's topic is very interesting especially if you have interest in um, freelancing work or uh, you want to do work with your own preferences, with your own uh, desire. So, today's topic is very interesting especially uh, you want to become a freelancer. So, let us start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page and Instagram as well. Friend, uh, you may be wondering, so what is basically a freelancing? Freelancing means to work as an independent company uh, rather than be employed by someone else. Freelancers are self-employed and often refer to an independent contractors. Freelancers are hired by other companies on a part-time or short-time basis, but they do not receive the same compensation as full-time employees or have the same level of commitment to any particular company. With the rise of gig economy, people are talking about freelancing more than ever before and that is because there are more freelancers today than there have ever been in history. A 2019 study by Upwork and Freelancers Union shows that 57 million Americans freelanced in 2019. And according to the same study, 53 percent of workers aged 10 to 22 are now freelancing. Uh, there are few terms of freelancing. Not everyone uses the term freelance or freelancer when it comes to work that a freelancer may do. In fact, even most freelancers refer to themselves as self-employed. So, other terms you may want to be aware of that relate to freelancing include contract work. That means job uh, where you are working to fulfill a short term or part time contract. Contract job same as we discussed uh, already. Uh, the independent contractor, this is the IRS classifications of a freelancer. 1099 freelancers are paid using a tax form called 1099 MISC as opposed to your typical full time uh, form. Sometimes 1099 is used to refer to a freelancer. Contract consultant, this term refers to a consultant coming in under a 1099 contract for a short period of time. Contract to hire, sometimes freelancers are uh, interested in full time employment. Contract to hire roles uh, provide a sort of test period for a freelancer before they are hired full time. How does freelancing actually work actually? Friend, freelancers accept payment in return for providing some sort of service. That agreement is generally part time or short term. For example, if I hired a photographer to take a new head shots for me, I could pay a freelancer for that session and that would be the end of it. Sometimes people pay freelancers to work a set number of hours per week or per month. That arrangement is often referred to as retainer. A retainer refers to when you retain the services or right to someone's time. A lot of legal professional work on a retainer every month they bill a set amount of time to the client regardless of whether that full time is used or not. It is really one of the simplest and most pure forms of entrepreneurship. The freelancer provides a specific service or outcome and the buyer pays them a fee directly. Why are people freelancing? Freelancing provides a lot of flexibility and control to the individual. Most freelancers choose their own hours, the work that they do, the clients they work with and may even be able to work remotely. Freelancing is also a form of entrepreneurship which means the freelancer has total control of their earning potential. Freelancers are not 
locked into salary and so they can earn as much as they are able to bill to their clients and uh, as a freelancer you are your own boss freelancing provides a lot of variety in the types of work you can do too if you are someone with a lot of interest and are da- drawn to trying new things freelancing can help you explore all kinds of projects and industries historically freelancing is not something people typically do forever they either hire other freelancers or employees to build a full agency they build their own products to replace their freelance income or they can go back to working full time freelancing provides the flexibility many people want in order to figure out their next career move how much can i get paid freelancing this is a very important question here according to that uh, same 2019 study the uh, freelancing income is 20 to 20 uh, around 20 dollar per hour of course with so many different freelance uh, jobs available that number can vary quite a bit transcription services may only 5 to 10 dollar per hour while software engineering roles may earn 75 dollar or even hundreds of dollar per hour it's best to compare the freelance rates of your particular skill set to get a good estimate of the expected income you could earn as a freelancer what are the risk of freelancing friend freelancing comes with uh, both financial and some health risk as well in the united states one of the biggest benefits to full time employment is access access to health care and other financial benefits outside of your typical salary that may include a 401k retirement plan or company provided health insurance for freelancers being hired as independent contractor generally means companies will not provide those same uh, financial or health care benefits to you so freelancers are on their own when it comes to planning for their financial futures and enrolling in health insurance coverage not only are freelancers on their own to set these benefits up to themselves but they are also at a bit of disadvantage when a company negotiates a health insurance policy with a broker they are often able to get more favorable rates since they are buying in bulk but as a self employed individual you are buying a policy for yourself and your family only and unfortunately that means your health insurance may cost more it is easy to set up your own retirement saving account but there will not be any matching contributions from your employer employer and finally freelancers are responsible for all income coming into the business if you are unable or unwilling to sell more projects and land more clients uh, your income will dry up these risks are all manageable but they are worth considering before you jump into freelancing full time jobs website another popular method for finding clients with its uh, through a freelance marketplace like upwork fiverr flex jobs or solid gigs these marketplaces serve as the middleman by arranging freelance jobs on one side of the marketplace and freelance talent on the other this can be really efficient for finding new work but come with their own trade offs marketplaces like upwork and fiverr have a lot of competition and it may be tough to build an initial profile or get paid when you are worth and they will keep a small percentage of each job as a transaction fee but over time if you build a strong reputation you can reliably find work without having to prospect too hard so uh, honestly i really like myself uh, the fiverr freelance.com and upwork as well 
so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friend